Okay. I just picked one up on the blade bait. Um, I tried to cast in shallower on this one, made some casts in you know the deeper range and had a couple tickles, but if you want to cast right over there, James, I think that Laker school- or I, Cisco. I can't tell. You know, it feels like bigger head shakes. It, it might be a lake trout. It definitely feels like bigger head shakes. I think it is a lake trout. Nice. Start the day off with a with a nice laker. Yeah. Got that clear water. Wow, that water is just amazingly clear. Look how beautiful that is. <laughs> Isn't wow. it awesome? And what a lot of people don't realize is like, you know, a lot of people, you know, only catch lake trout trolling or or uh, or, or something like that. And you know, it's crazy to think that for almost a month and a half these fish come in really shallow, and you know, you can cast to them and jig them. We can almost sight fish them at times in 50 feet of water here. I could, I could actually net them for you, Chad, if you want me to. Okay. <laughs> here you yeah. go. I didn't know how you wanted here, to you do know, it there. Here, here but, you go. Here, let me pop that out. Yeah, there. pop her out there. So here, hit that buddy, buddy. Fire Ooh, tiger blade bait. Boy, that little rascal's awful cold. <laughs> yeah, he is. Yeah. What do we have coming over here? We had um, 58 degrees at the boat launch, yep. and then we ran across some uh, 52 degree water, and then what's your graph saying here? We're at like 53.7, so yep. nice temperature break, and looks like the fish are here, so good start to the day, though. 27, and uh, the three, this must be a Cisco, here. Huh. Nice job. Yeah. Yes, it is. What do you got? It looks like maybe a lake trout? Yeah, it's a lake. Or is it? No, it's a, oh, it's oh, a white fish. Is it a white fish or a Cisco? Nice. It's a Cisco. Here, I'll jump on the net for you. Boy, look at that. Real pretty. Boy, those guys are cool. Great big minnows. <laughs> you know look at that guy. Aren't they pretty? They sure are. Wow. Those blue backs coming up in the wow. clear water. Come here, buddy. Come here. Boy, they are cool. Those guys are pretty tough little guys. You know what we fish for? I fish for whitefish a lot. And uh, these guys are so tough. They're just all muscle. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they're they're <laughs> a lot of fun. Here. Nice Listen, job. Maybe I'll get, do you know what we're going to do with this guy here? These guys are really hard to handle. And what I'm going to do is see if I can, oh, there we go. Grip them right there. Yeah, you guys, <laughs> they're really hard to handle. We don't want to hurt, hurt them. We're going to let these guys go, even though they are really good eating. Really beautiful fish, aren't they, though? God, if every fish could just release <laughs> like that. <laughs> Chad, if you had to uh, really identify your really key baits for this fishing uh, lake trout and uh, Cisco's in this situation, what would they be? You know, I would say, I would say that we really uh, correlate it to like the depth zone that we're fishing. So, you know, if we have them in skinny water like this and we're fishing them in 25 to 50, uh, you can't really ask for a better bait other than like these blade baits because you can vary it in size, half ounce to three quarter ounce to, to one ounce. Um, so, you know, a variation of different colors and brands on the blade baits, um, pretty much anything will work. Uh, and then we really fall heavily on like uh, the jigging spoons um, in a three quarter to a one ounce. You know, a lot of guys will even throw like a, like a jigging Rapala or a rip and wrap. You know, you were hitting some fish on a rip and wrap yeah. earlier, so. With the uh, Rapala flat jig, this is sort of like a jigging wrap, except for it's actually designed for deeper water fishing situations. But what I do is take this bait, flip it out, and let it sink right to the bottom, you know, pretty quickly. It gets to the bottom in 25 foot of water in about, I don't know, one, two, three, we're almost there. Boink, we just hit the bottom. But what I'm gonna do is like double pump and let it fall back down to the bottom. And I'm gonna actually sort of follow the bait back down to the bottom on sort of a loose line, not really tight line, trigger, you know, tight line. And each presentation, each lure you fish, like what Chad's fishing with the, uh, the blade bait here. Oh, what was that? Big fish just jumped. <laughs> what was that? Big fish just jumped. <laughs> what was that? Yeah. But each bait has its own like little bit of a retrieve you know, to trigger the fish into biting, and that's what it is. And you know, with this bait here, it's like that little double pump, and you follow the bait back down to the bait bottom to get the fish to bite it. Come here. Ooh, what do we got here? Oh boy, she's a real whopper, uh, Cisco. 
These guys are so much fun. These are my new favorites. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. No quitting what? that one. <laughs> yeah, that guy. <laughs> wow, holy mackerel. These boys pull pretty good. They really do. do don't they? That light rod you're using too, is something medium light, you know, in that yeah. six to eight foot range. Makes it really fun. <laughs> Wow, this guy here is just a Boston Bulldog. There he is. Whoa. Wow, holy mackerel, at the way. <laughs> Come here, bud, there he is. He's still like really aggravated about the whole deal. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Wow, look at that thing. Are they just gorgeous fish? Look at that thing. Yeah, buddy, we'll get this guy back in the water pretty quickly. He's got some chunky shoulders to Yes, him he sure. does. Look at that thing. <laughs> These guys are sort of, uh, really, what does Wolf call them? He calls them the Velociraptors. Velociraptors they're, they're really, right? you know, you're, 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 <laughs> they come into the really attack mode. I really like them. They sure do. They sure do. No, but what I was saying, what's really sort of cool about vertical jigging and all the different baits that you fish with, what's really key is just figuring out the right cadence for the day. And that can change a lot of times, you know, with this flat jig, I can fish it really hard and aggressively. And sometimes like what we're doing here is pitching it out and I'm giving it like a double pump. Where Chad, why don't you give him a little explanation of sort of a sort of details on how to fish a blade bait for this situation? You know, when I'm fishing a blade, you, you know, like you're saying, cadence is so important. Um, you know, you ask yourself, what do they want today? Do they want like a three to four foot lift and then a fall to the bottom, or do they want just like a, a short lift, like a small, small lift? And really, I, I do the same thing that you do with, with, with that bait presentation. I just try to change it and alter it. But the, the main thing, I think the most important thing that we've you know, discovered with these, with the Cisco and the whitefish and the lake trout, when you're throwing these blades, you want to use like a, you know, a lighter braid, like a, a five to a 10 pound braid with a floral carbon leader and a controlled fall is what's most important. So when you bomb it out over the drop off or into a shallow flat, you want to make sure that you find bottom and when you pump it up off bottom, you want to reel that slack down and feel that bait fall to bottom and hit. And as soon as it makes contact, you want to pump it up again. You know, you don't want to spend a lot of time uh, leaving it on bottom, and, but the, the, even when we're vertical jigging, we want to do a controlled fall because a lot of times it seems like they hit it on the fall. And if you drop your rod too fast, you have too much slack in your line and you know, you totally miss the opportunity. You know, for a lot of people would consider, Chad just said, we're in shallow water situations. We're fishing from 25 to 40, <laughs> you know, which is sort of, a, he considers this shallow, which I sort of, you know, and I, I actually fish a lot of deep water before, but it's, it's sort of just an interesting observation that these guys, you know, with this water clarity, 25 to 40 foot of water is really shallow for these fish. You know, one thing that's sort of important for vertical fishing is your line and what I'm fishing is with a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. I have a real small VMC a barrel swivel and then I have 10 pound 832 braid and you'll notice what color it is and this is white or it's also referred to as ghost. And for a lot of deep water vertical jigging situations the nice thing about the line is two different things with this white braid. Number one is believe it or not, is visibility. I can actually see it's a, for strike detection. I can visually, when I'm jigging the bait, a lot of times what I'm actually doing is sort of slack lining and as the bait is falling, with that bright colored line, I can actually see the fish hit the, the line. The line sort of jumps. The other thing with the 832 braid, because it's non-stretch, you have the ability to hook a fish way out away from the boat, you know, with that, you know, because a lot of times these fish are real, real spooky and we're making relatively long casts and the fish are hitting 50 to 60 feet out, 80 feet away from the boat. But that bright line is really nice for this type of fishing situation. I'm actually fishing with a, uh, a seven and a half foot. This is actually an Icon walleye rod. But what's really important about it is the action in the power of the rod. You can see how it really folds relatively deep into the into the uh, the rod. The reason being is these Cisco's have a really pretty delicate mouth, and actually it's really easy to tear the hooks out of the fish's 
uh, mouth when you hook them if you pull too hard on them. The other thing that the longer rod enables you to do is actually to pick it up when you're way away from the boat. The longer length of rod is really advantageous to be able to pick up a lot of line to move the bait. You're trying to get that attractive m maneuver and then not only that as it's dropping back down when the fish hits it is to reel down and pick up and set the hook and that's where I'm fishing with a, this is a Daiwa Accelerate uh, LT 2500. The nice thing it's got a really nice drag on it but the thing is what's really nice about a spinning rod I, you know and you can fish with a bait casting rod as well the nice thing about a spinning rod is you can really pick up the line really quickly. Might be a lake He's got one. I feel like a little bit bigger head shakes in this is one. That right? I really do, yeah. It's hard to tell, but. Ooh, you can see him down there. Yeah, he hit in a little shallower water. Nice fish. That's what I'm not kidding you. I'm really so impressed with this activity. This is really <laughs> unbelievable. Really nice. Wow, what a beautiful fish. Look at that. Oh, that is a pretty fish. Here, I'll bring him right over to you. We're going to get him in that net. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, we're going to get him in there. Not much of them, but, <laughs> but wow. I, there, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> we're on the bubble with that net. I was sort of, I, 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 there you go. Let me grab the pliers for you. Yeah. Come here, here you go. Boy, here you go. Boy, what a beautiful fish. We'll get that guy out of there. Great. Get this guy back in the water. That's one thing nice with this really cold water right now. You can really, it's a lot easier to let go Man. right now. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Beautiful Grand Traverse Bay Lake trout. Awesome, awesome. We'll get this guy back in the water and, yep. uh, and you know, the sun's starting to come out a little bit. Uh, they weren't as active when we first came out, but now they're just starting to crest up onto the break and they're starting to feed and hopefully we can tear them up. I can't believe the conditions that we're fishing. Fishing for lake <laughs> trout in 25 foot of water and it's absolutely flat calm. You mind if I uh, throw these in your Yeti? No, go for it. Thank you. Here's one. 